Greetings, fellow primates. Jim the Ape here. And I wanted to make another quick sort of off-the-cuff video about something that I saw online recently. Now, this is something that I saw on my Pet Humans Facebook news feed, which I was only looking at because I don't have my own Facebook page due to Facebook's speciesist anti-ape policy. I think someone needs to talk to Mark Zuckerberg about that. It's problematic. Anyway, the post in question appears to be a clipping from a newspaper. And it says, Vegan kitten nearly dies. Now, we apes are predominantly herbivores, so it's not really hard for us to go vegan. But not all animals are that way. The story reads, A kitten has almost died after its owners fed it a strict vegan diet. The horrific case has prompted a warning about the dangers of people forcing ideologies on pets. Lord Smith Animal Hospital veterinarian Leanne Pinfold said the kitten, pictured, was brought in this month by its owners who were believed to be vegan. Its diet of potatoes, rice, milk, and pasta had caused it to become critically ill. It was extremely weak and collapsed when it came in, Dr. Pinfold said. The kitten was given fluids intravenously placed on a heat pad, and fed meat. It spent three days in the Melbourne Clinic. Dr. Pinfold said cats were true carnivores and needed meat to survive. She said people who wanted a vegan pet should consider other animals, such as guinea pigs. But not gorillas. Never gorillas. We are not your pets. If anything, you are our pets. I may have added that last part, but I think you get the point. So yeah, obviously this is a horrible thing to do, trying to impose your vegan lifestyle on your pets. But here's the thing. Dogs and cats are fucking carnivorous. Look at this motherfucker. This is a lion. Look at this motherfucker's teeth. Do they look like they evolved to chew celery? I don't think so. Those motherfuckers evolved to tear giraffes and gazelles apart. And the lion is a part of the Felidae family of animals. And to make a long story short, do you know what else is in the Felidae family of animals? House cats. And I know what some of you are thinking. You're thinking, Jim, you hairy but extremely attractive moron. What about dogs? Look at this motherfucker. This is a gray wolf. Again, look at this motherfucker's teeth. Does it look like he eats lettuce? I don't think so. And that is because the gray wolf is in the Canidae family of animals. And do you know who else is in the Canidae family of animals? The descendant of the gray wolf, dogs. You see, dogs evolved from gray wolves that developed relationships with humans, and humans domesticated them, and before you knew it, you had all kinds of crazy breeds with all kinds of different physical attributes, all descended from gray wolves. It's a whole thing. But the point is that you can have uh, a different ideology and not impose it on your pets. For example, my pet human has a sister who is a vegetarian, not complete vegan, but uh, a vegetarian, and she has two dogs. But does she feed her dogs salad? No, she gets dog food that has meat in it because she is not a horrible person, and she does not impose her personal diet on anybody else, much less a carnivorous creature that doesn't have the adaptive ability to survive a diet without meat, like omnivores can. And by omnivores, I mean you humans. But this isn't the only bit of craziness that I've seen 
from veganism recently, there seems to be uh, a bit of a an increase in vocal vegans who want to judge their fellow humans for eating meat. And I may be an herbivore, but I don't judge humans for eating meat. That's just the way nature goes, you know? It's the circle of life, and it moves us all. I don't know if you've ever seen The Lion King. It's a great movie. Gotta love Rafiki. Anyway, what I was trying to say was that there was a particular video that I have in mind that I had actually thought about making a response to before I made my dual response video to two different feminist SJW types, link in the description, and it featured an Australian vegan who seemed to be advocating for some kind of Orwellian nightmarish dystopia where humans who ate meat would basically be, like, eradicated, and it would be, like, illegal to to eat meat. Like, little does she know that that would completely wipe out the cow and chicken populations, and probably the pig populations as well, because those are the three most popular animals that you humans like to eat, and the very fact that they exist as a species can mostly be attributed to the fact that you humans eat them. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm all for a dystopian takeover of your planet, if it's by the right apes, but it just didn't sound like it was very much fun. I mean, you know, the whole it's a dog-eat-dog world would literally be illegal if this woman got her way. And let me tell you, it's amazing how quickly a preachy vegan can get you to think about cannibalism. Is it cannibalism if it's a gorilla eating a human? I don't know. Anyway, the bottom line is that I have no problem with other people being vegan. Just like I have no problem with other people being feminist or religious. I mean, I might criticize the ideas, but ultimately I don't care about people being these things as long as they don't try to push it on other people. Basically, as long as you're not A, trying to force your ideology on other people or animals, B, trying to censor people who disagree with you or trying to have rights taken away from certain people or certain groups of people, or C, committing actions that do demonstrable physical harm to anyone, as long as you're not doing one of those three things, I'm basically okay with you. I am a firm believer in freedom of speech. You may notice that's a running theme in my videos. And I believe that that extends to things like comedy, jokes that people go, oh, that's not funny, that's offensive. Well, it doesn't matter. They should be allowed to say it anyway. And that pretty much wraps it up for me. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I definitely appreciate that. Uh, if you don't, feel free to give it a thumbs down. Like I said, freedom of speech. And of course, tell me what you think in the comments below. What do you think about veganism? Are you a vegan? Are you an unapologetic meat eater? Are you a herbivore, a carnivore, or an omnivore? And of course, subscribe for more of my videos. That about does it for me. I'll catch you next time. Stay great, apes.